hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that all bell notification in that way you won't miss any time i publish a new video also to mention i started some new youtube channels so be sure to check them out in the description below all right so what are we going to be doing today well today we'll be making all right so here i have my chicken wings and what i did i cut them up so you see all the different pieces okay and now we're going to um i already washed my chicken so now i'm going to put a marinade um in for the chicken so what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to put one tablespoon of rice cooking wine I'm going to put one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of salt. Could always add more. I will put um, about a quarter teaspoon of some sesame oil. Let's use some sesame oil here. I'm also going to put a little bit of green seasoning as well. And I'm also going to grate some ginger. So let's just combine everything together. All right, so let's leave this now to marinate for some time. Okay, so for our sweet and sour pineapple chicken, here we have some pineapple, we have some cabbage, we have some seasoning peppers, we have some red bell, uh, um, red bell pepper, some red onion, some spring onions, and some cilantro. Okay, so what we're going to do with our chicken, instead of cooking it on the stove top, we're actually going to bake it in the oven. So I'm going to put it in um, my baking tray here. 
I'm going to, my oven is preheating at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to bake it for, and I will bake it for about 35 minutes. Okay, so let's make our sauce, our sweet and sour sauce. So here I have about half cup of um, pineapple juice. I'm gonna add to this a half cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna put three tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. I'm gonna put three tablespoons of ketchup. Just mix this together now. I'm also going to um, make a slurry with cornstarch. So I'm gonna take one tablespoon of cornstarch. You know what? I will use the chicken broth instead of the water to make the slurry. And I'm going to add a slurry to the sauce. All right, so our sweet and sour sauce is now ready. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of coconut oil and then we're going to saute some garlic and ginger. We want to saute this for a while in order to bring out the flavors of it. Then we're going to add our veggies and we're going to saute our veggies for a while. And adding a little sea salt at this point, adding some salt to our veggies. Okay, so now I'm adding the cabbage and the pineapple. So I did the peppers first and then I added the cabbage and the pineapple. So now that the cabbage and pineapple a softened somewhat. I'm adding now the cooked chicken because remember we had cooked the chicken in the oven. So I'm adding now the cooked chicken to this, mixing everything together and now we're going to add our sauce and we're going to allow our sauce to thicken. Now I did add some more cornstarch slurry because I wanted uh, my sauce to thicken up a little more so um, you can do that as well if you find that you, you know your sauce you want it thicker then you can add more cornstarch slurry to it. So there's where I added more of the cornstarch slurry. All right, so basically now you leave this to thicken up, continue boiling as you can look at the edges, you can see how it's bubbling there. And then um, you can top this now with some spring onions and the cilantro that we had cut up. You can top it with that and basically that's your sweet and sour pineapple chicken so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it the thumbs up and i hope to see you in my next video bye for now